Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. As I promised before, I will make this video about the scam and I suspect it was scam, but I decided to test it out. As you could see, there is a bike sold on Amazon and not only Amazon, there's many other websites which sold by brand, uh, not listed, not the same seller as a brand. And I'll teach you how to uh, find the legit seller as well. Any bike I list actually in my uh, uh, comments in description they are all legit sellers usually because I do communicate with them usually before I do review so they do send the real bike and they are standing behind the product usually uh, the one you bought most likely from Amazon like a uh, MacPad or uh, Rakuten K bike as well and uh, used to be electric experience there's many other brands which sold on amazon by brand and there's many scam going on even you could see in our communications before uh it's so it was sold like this model like three bikes were sold by amazon and they were shipped by amazon but actually they never been sent out to anyone and many people was waiting for them and uh, another scam i noticed if you read some comments on youtube sometimes some scammers they create a scam and then they go to youtube videos and post it underneath oh i just bought the cheapest bike they go to the blog and they put i just bought the cheapest uh e-bike and so on so that's why i also create the website ebikeadvisory.com where i will keep all the discount available uh offer it to me the bikes i already reviewed or have some kind of uh, experience with them so you can check again link in description and there will be all the discount link and codes so you can find legit deal and here's another example of seen other bikes they do sell on the website but they also sell on amazon so if you buy from the website or amazon you will receive the bike but make sure you check in uh, seller portion who is selling them if you see somebody else who is selling them most likely it's a scam third party sometimes do use uh after ice like they are after ice to sell but again if you are not true 100 percent then make sure the brand of the bike and the seller are the same people i mean same company for example, um, when I bought on Amazon, usual stuff, when I see it sold by Amazon and shipped by Amazon, I feel secured. But in this case, it was completely scam as well. They basically wasted my time. They wasted your time because nobody ever receives those bikes. They gave me excuses that um, uh, the bike was lost in transit. So they canceled my order uh, without even warning me but before that i did have communication with them and you can see uh they told me in the chat i talked to amazon before i purchased they ensure that the bike is bought in factory from they gave me the name of the factory and address they say we bought it from them we do have them in stock and be sure that we will send you one and as you can see it didn't work as uh, you plan and actually i expect it was a scam but i never actually expect that amazon would do this type of things because usually it would happen from third party but in this case it was sold by amazon and shipped by amazon i'm not sure if you can actually call it a scam because basically you have zero losses because they do refund the money but at the same time they wasted your time and the time is the money so again they did kind of scam or fraud activities you may want to report them to um right department and um, if i find out which one i'm gonna post in description again but make sure when you're buying the anything uh it should be sold by the same brand usually but uh, let's say it's a big brand like um, any brand like uh got like like uh for example hey bikes they got the same problem and what it does actually it's create negative effect on the brands so this possibility somebody decided to put negative effect on the three successful companies 
because they got all the same issue. Last year it was a uh, uh, Electrix XP have the similar issue, but it was not from Amazon. It was from third party on Amazon, and it took some time to get it fixed. Nobody ever got the bikes. Uh, I'm not sure if everybody got the money back, but again. Uh, it can uh, play double role in this situation. Somebody might scam you for money, and then also they might just try to kill the company. So basically, imagine if over 100 people bought the bike, and they're not happy, they don't receive the bike, what they're going to do, they're going to go back and put bad review, and they're going to put bad review on the hay bikes or other bike they bought because they think the brand actually sold you. That's why the, all these brands send out warning, don't buy from another seller because they are not after us. It doesn't mean they have the bike, but the company try to warn you, don't get be scammed. And uh, for now, I understand there is no other company for this brand selling those bikes because before I thought maybe it was sold through factory directed to Amazon. That's what Amazon told me in chat. They told me we bought directly from factory. They gave me the factory uh, address which match to this brand. And I thought maybe the Amazon went around and bought really cheap and they just tried to liquidate them. I don't think they can buy that cheap, but again, you never know. Amazon sometimes they put the free stuff in order to earn more uh, following, like uh, buyers and subscribers to the uh, Prime. So again, this was kind of scam, waste your time, my time, and nobody got the bikes. But again, if you're looking for a bike, you can check my website, the ebikeadvisory.com. Next year. I plan to post the phone number on this website, so if you're looking to buy the bike and have question like which one would be better fit to you, you can call and have communication and see with a specialist about e-bikes and can give you better advice to give you and so on. Also, since I do reviews on the different electric bicycle, I have uh, also communicated with different brands the one I reviewed. Always I like to hear the feedback if some people have any problem with the brand so I can uh, have this concern delivered to the company. Some companies, they don't really care about any problems, so they don't listen to, but most of the companies, they do take this seriously and they try to fix the problems as well because it does affect on uh, uh, sales and some of the company were like small one on Amazon. You might see the cheap cheap, cheap prices, the companies you never saw, they usually come and go because they basically just uh, bring them bikes, they sell them, and they never come back. They can promise you a couple of years warranty, but they never will endorse them because they will be just gone by the time you have an issue sometimes. So that's why it's good to buy from the company which been in business at least a couple of years. And not only good reviews you can see, but also you need to ter determine if the bike is right for you. And don't fall for this type of scam anymore. Thank you for watching. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.